Yo, what's up guys, Sitchiko Golem here, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do well in the lower leagues, and I'm actually in the lowest league, as you guys can see. I'm in League 1, Challenger 1, I'm gonna be playing on my mini surge account, I actually didn't touch it at all this season, so I'm gonna show you guys two versions, which is, yeah, basically the same deck, just a few cards switched, and especially the evolution, so as you guys can see here, we have the Evil Tesla, here we have the Evil Bomber, but besides that, it's the same win condition, which is the Royal Hawks, Quick cycle with the Archer Queen, Earthquake, Royal Delivery. In my opinion, this deck is really solid, guys. If you guys are struggling to yeah, upgrade your league, get better in Clash Royale in general, I definitely recommend this version because, one, it's always good to play with cycle decks to improve, in my opinion, your general skill in the game. And then the second thing, this deck is super solid in general. This deck can pull off some crazy defenses. The delivery is super solid against all the beatdown decks there's out there. And then also a lot of people nowadays are running Elixir Collector, which of course the Earthquake is perfect um, yeah, against. So let's see. We can probably try and activate the King Tower here. We do need to watch out because he is coming with a Balloon afterwards. So we need to go with like Ice Spirit. Cannon here last second. Let's go with Ability as well. And then we need to try and DPS down this um, yeah, Mega Knight. And maybe cycle even back to a second cannon. Can we try and defend this without taking too much shots? I think we should be able to. We are running the Princess Tower, by the way. On this account, I don't have the cannon near. And I also don't have the Dagger Dashes maxed out. So yeah, I guess perfect for you guys who don't have the um, cannon near or the Dagger Dashes. If you guys are running the Princess Tower, it will be perfect. But if you do, uh, for example, have the Dagger Dashes, I would definitely recommend the Dagger Dashes. Because it's just yeah so strong right now. So I would say pretty good defense there. We got a nice activation. We didn't take too much damage with the balloon. And then this poor guy is actually running level 10 cards. So of course, playing in lower leagues right now, especially when the season already yeah, started a few days ago, I guess it's going to be mainly against off meta decks. But I guess it's also nice to sometimes play against those type of decks because sometimes yeah, you never know what you're going to face. And then sometimes they can catch you off guard or um, yeah, in general just be like annoying. Okay, so let's go with Royal Hawks here. Let's also go with Skeleton's Evolution Split. Looks like he locks the right side. Left side tower is going to go down. Then he goes with a Mega Knight. Okay, I think I'm just going to let it jump on top of the Queen. Let it get one shot. And then afterwards, pop the ability. Plus, I think a Fire Spirit here to distract the Mega Knight. Get some more damage with the Queen, with the tower. And then the Mega Knight, thing doesn't even jump on top of the tower. Maybe it just jumps. Uh, okay, looks like it doesn't jump. But I wanted to say, maybe it just jumps and then doesn't get anything um, Yeah, besides that jump. So let's go with a Cannon here on defense. Knowing that he doesn't have that much elixir, let's go with Royal Hawks. Looks like he does go with Skeleton Army, but the Skeleton Army will not directly kill it, so it's still quite a lot of damage. And then he's saying, wow, oops, I kind of feel bad for these guys, especially knowing that the season, as I said, already started quite a long time ago. But I mean, I gotta, yeah, um, how do you say, like, push this account. And at the same time, I wanted to show you guys a good deck for lower leagues and then also try to push my secondary account while doing so. Okay, let's go with Royal Hawks here. I'm assuming he's gonna Mega Knight. There you go. Let's go with a Bomber at the bridge. So Evil Bomber is one of the best evolutions in the game right now, guys. If you don't have the Evil Bomber, you can use the other version. We're actually gonna use the other version as well in today's video. So don't worry about... Um, yeah, if you guys don't have the, um, the Evil Bomber. Okay, let's go with another cannon here to distract everything. Let's then afterwards go with some Evil Skeletons. And then we can just, yeah, Earthquake the Rise of Tower. Take down the Rise of Tower. So Evil Skeletons are still really strong in my opinion, as you guys can see there. Getting a lot of value. They finally do go down against the Magic Archer, but still ended up cleaning up everything. Evil Skeletons, definitely really strong. So if you guys have um, yeah, Evil Skeletons, but you don't have the Evil Bomber, you can use Evil Tesla. If you don't have the Evil Tesla and you don't have the Bomber, I guess you can maybe try out, for example, running um, Ice Spirit Evolution. If you have it, even though in my opinion it's the worst evolution. Or if not, you can maybe try to switch around some cards. But I wouldn't really know what card to put instead of the Bomber. You can maybe try to use it with like archers. Maybe you can try to um, yeah, sneak in some bets in there. But anyways, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys don't have those evolutions and you guys do have, for example, a specific evolution, I would love to try and help you um, yeah, sneak in that evolution in your deck. So this way you can still run this specific version in this deck. Okay, this guy is level 10. So as I said, sorry if in today's video we're going to be facing some underlevel players. Um, normally when you're in lower leagues, you should be the um, underleveled player. In this case, I'm going to be the overleveled guy. So I kind of feel bad about it. But at the same time, I think it's a good um, yeah, thing to sometimes play against these type of decks, these type of players, because you never know. Okay, let's go with Locker to kill the princess, damage the Sparky, damage the tower. And afterwards, we can prepare the skeletons here to distract the Sparky a little bit. Okay, perfect. As long as the Sparky doesn't connect, I should be fine. I think the miner, we can even ignore it. And then afterwards, we can just cycle... Let's go Archer Queen. After seeing Miner, he could potentially have a Poison. He could potentially have a Big Spell. I'm going to cycle Archer Queen. Very important to note whenever you're facing, for example... I don't know. In this case, I think he might not have Poison. 
But let's say you're facing minor poison. Always very important to not give them spell value. Of course, I cycle the Archer Queen in this lane because if he goes with poison, it's gonna be on the tower where he didn't deal damage. If I would have cycled it on the left side and he did have the poison, he would have gotten more damage on the tower he already dealt damage towards. So I think that's um, yeah, small but interesting or small but important, I want to say. Um, yeah, detail. Okay, let's go Tesla here. Let's go with a look. Pop the Archer Queen ability to clean up most of those units and then afterwards i think i'm just gonna go with some skellies at the bridge here and i'm thinking about going royal hawks but he does have the spark okay he cycles rage i guess we can go uh, royal hawks here he might go sparky right side but that's not gonna instantly kill them so it still should be able to get a lot of damage and that's gonna be i think tower down looks like he doesn't even decide to go with um get a sparky so i think i'm gonna be switching between the bomber version and then also the tesla version in my opinion both are really solid like if you guys are asking me Okay, I both have the evolution, I, or I both have the Bomber evolution and the Tesla evolution. Which do you think is um, stronger? In my opinion, there's not really a stronger version. I guess the Bomber is a little bit stronger. I feel like the Bomber might be the best evolution in the game right now. So if you do have the Bomber available, I guess it can um, yeah, win you more matches. Because sometimes with the Evil Bomber, even though the, the win condition in this deck is like Royal Hawks, I guess the Bomber sometimes just gets so much damage so much value so i do think the bomber might be a little bit stronger but this version is also really solid this one doesn't have a um a small spell this one with the tesla is a little bit more solid against the um, yeah, lava on decks air decks it's still winnable with the cannon but it's definitely not as solid as the version with the evil tesla so i guess it just kind of depends on your yeah play style it also really depends on what decks you have been facing recently um and that's about it to be honest okay let's see i think we activate the king tower yeah there you go we activate the king tower we are going to take a little bit of damage with the firecracker but i guess it's fine because afterwards we can pop the ability and i'm also going to go with royal hawks here i don't think he has that much elixir right now to be honest he spent a lot of elixir there offensively with the drill with the firecracker he went with nado and then also he spent a lot of elixir against the archer queen he doesn't have login cycle so we can go with a um, fire spirit here at the bridge and then the fire spirit unfortunately will not connect to the tower but still an insane amount of damage there to his left side tower okay so I guess it's just going to be like a drill cycle deck, very popular win condition in my opinion, even though this deck doesn't run in a small spell, it's still very solid against drill, we have bomber, we have a quick cycle, we have the cannon, we know that he has firecracker so I'm not going to go with, yeah, I wanted to say I'm not going to go with um, cannon here at the bridge or at, in front of the tower, instead I'm going to go archer queen at the bridge, okay, perfect, let's go here with um, ability, oh, a little bit too late with ability, I guess it's fine, he anyway spent a lot of elixir, let's go with a bomb tower, uh, or excuse me let's go with royal hawks and let's see if he's gonna bomb tower but it looks like he's not going to bomb tower it looks like he nados it but then the royal hawks are still gonna get so much damage to a point where they even take down the tower so looking very good right now guys so yeah basically the main important um or the most important thing about running this deck in general is to start cycling your evolutions if you start off with for example your bomber in cycle in my opinion it's always a good play to start cycling the bomber and then also another thing is very important to yeah first focus prioritize i guess you can say the defense and then afterwards um focus on or counter pushing or sometimes going with royal hawks knowing when they're low in elixir when do i know when they're low in elixir i guess the most important thing is just to look at the elixir traits like for example if you go um just an example bomber here on defense against the drill he goes with drill he goes with firecracker and he also goes with nato of course that's just yeah way too much elixir spent by him i'm n like never i'm counting elixir like sometimes people say yo search do you count elixir I honestly never count elixir but i do think it's really important to notice those type of traits because if you know that he just spent um like for example with this drill let's say we would fire spirit we would skeletons and he goes drill plus just an example drill plus rocket like we spent two elixir he spent 10 elixir with the rocket plus drill so of course in those type of situations you know that you're up a lot of elixir it really does depend on situations there are situations where it's easier to note that you're up elixir and then there's some situations where it's not as easy to note that you're up elixir but i guess you will just yeah kind of learn um those type of situations that like try to recognize those type of situations um the more you play the more you practice and especially if it's a new deck i guess it's also important to kind of get used to the deck you're running right now so so far so good guys i would be worried if i was gonna lose in league one league two or even in league three i think in today's video we should be able to go undefeated but still um yeah we still need to focus we still need to be careful of course Okay, so let's start off with Cycling Fire Spirit. Also, another thing very important. I'm not sure how often you guys face another Tower Troop, but it does depend. For example, Cycling Fire Spirit. Okay, let's go Tesla here. Cycling Fire Spirit against the Princess Tower is perfect, but against Cannoneer and then also against the Dagger Dashes, you will not be able to activate the King Tower. Also here, small detail. I place my Tesla in this spe um, specific situation to be able to activate the King Tower and then afterwards the activation 
will of course help defend the Hulk Rider in future yeah, situations where he does go with the Hulk Rider. Maybe for example with some skeletons plus a spirit plus a look if we don't have the Tesla and Psycho for some reason. Okay, so this is going to be a Hulk Rider deck, but it is um, a little bit strange version with Tombstone, with Bets, and with Little Prince. I'm just going to put my ability there. Instantly kills Little Prince. He does go with ability, so well played by him. And then here we can go with some Skeletons plus, I think, some Royal Hawks, actually. Let's go with Royal Hawks here already. I have the Tesla ready. Also, very important to think, what is his win condition? And do I have enough Elixir to counter it? Like, for example, if, let's say, I had just an example. Six Elixir. I'm not going to Royal Hawks right away because I know that he might Hulk Rider. It's not the end of the world. But at the same time, I personally always like to have enough Elixir, um, knowing that, for example, as a Hulk Rider, I'm like, okay, even though I go Royal Hawks, I would have enough Elixir. Two Tesla up high, two, for example, Evo Skeletons. Like, always think about a potential answer or good, like, counter against their win condition if they already showed it. Okay, let's go here with Archie Queen. Then afterwards, I'm going to pop the ability. I'm going to go Fire Spirit predicting potential bets as well. Let's see if he goes with the bets. Looks like, okay, looks like he doesn't. Instead, he goes with Mega Knight. Okay. Let's go with Evil Skeletons here, and then I'm going to prepare my Royal Delivery as well. Okay, perfect. Let's go with Delivery. Look at the Skeletons going crazy. Evil Skeletons are so strong. Like, in my opinion, Evil Skeletons, still one of the best evolutions, and not that many people are using it right now. I feel like people prefer nowadays, like, the Evil Bomber, which is, yeah, kind of obvious because the Bomber is really strong, but at the same time, I'm, yeah, kind of surprised that not that many people run the Evil Skeletons nowadays. Okay, let's go Archie Queen, let's go Skeletons. I'm gonna take one uh, one Hawk Rider hit here to be able to yeah, get a nice counter push going. With the Royal Hawks, with the Archie Queen, I'm gonna look as well. And then I'm gonna wait a little bit to see what he does. Okay, he's gonna go with a lot of spammy cards. I guess I'm just gonna pop the ability, wait a little bit. And then maybe afterwards we can get a nice Evo Tesla. I'm gonna prepare my delivery here. And then I'm gonna go Evo Tesla up high. Okay, perfect. Very good delivery. Evo Tesla will be able to easily kill it. Nice NATO by him. That was actually a pretty good NATO because the Firecracker, thanks to that NATO, will splash on top of our tower. But at the same time, it's not um, yeah, gonna get anything. Yeah, besides that one shot. Let's go with Skeletons here. Let's go with Archer Queen. Let's go with Fire Spirit as well. He is spending quite a bit of Elixir. Hawk Rider is not gonna connect to the tower. And then here we need to be careful because we do not have Mega Knight. He's probably saving up for the Mega Knight. So also important, besides the win condition, which in this case is the Hawk Rider, think, okay, if I got Royal Hawks here, is he gonna have enough elixir for Mega Knight? Does he have Mega Knight in cycle? If you guys don't know how the cycle works, let me explain it to you real quick. Um, it's basically whenever someone drops a card, for example, in this case, Little Prince, he cannot cycle to Little Prince. So with Champions, it's a little bit more difficult. But with, for example, Fire Spirit, I go Fire Spirit now, I need to use four cards to be able to cycle back to the Fire Spirit. So in this case, Lok is one, um, Fire Spirit is uh, two, then Tesla, and then here, let's go with Delivery, that's three. And then skeletons and we're already back to fire spirit as you guys can see uh, after using four cards so very important to sometimes think about okay did he use four cards yet if he didn't then he might not have that one card in cycle if he did then he's definitely back to that one card which you um yeah want to know okay let's go archie queen here let's go delivery as well we need to watch out with this push to win us but i think we should be fine we can take the hawk rider hit we have the king tower activated we can go with some skeletons up high hawk rider is getting a lot of damage okay this guy is actually making a comeback i'm talking too much um, without focusing, but as you guys can see, Royal Hawks there with a nice look, plus an Earthquake to be able to finish off the left side tower. So that was actually kind of close for a game in League 3, but I guess, as I said, I was talking a little bit too much. Hopefully you guys can follow and hopefully you guys can understand everything. Let me switch to the other deck real quick, and that's going to be it for today's video. So we're already in League 4. Um, yeah, as I said, I didn't touch this account yet in today's, um, or in not today's, in this, how do you say, like current season. So let's see, let's go with Fire Spirit here, let's go, okay, I'm gonna go Fire Spirit now to activate the King Tower, kind of a bad cycle here to be honest, let's go then with Delivery, and I'm gonna go Skeleton, so we're gonna unfortunately take two Hawk Rider shots, which is quite a lot of damage to be honest, but I guess it's fine, I mean in the end we are activating the King Tower, and then afterwards it's gonna help out a lot against Hawk Rider, so if he does have Earthquake, I will try to pull off a Pro Tip, which is the um, Cannon in the opposite lane, while Body pushing the Hawk Rider towards the Cannon in some situations, it can definitely help out a lot. Okay, let's go Bomber here. Oh, he has Mega Knight. Okay. I was not expecting the Mega Knight, to be honest. Okay, let's go Delivery here as well. Bomber, in the meantime, is getting a lot of value. Let's then go with some Skeletons to keep distracting the Mega Knight. While the Bomber is splashing on top of everything and getting a lot of value. Oh my god, Bomber going crazy there. Not even the Evil Bomber. Just the normal Bomber got a lot of value against the Mega Knight, against the Valkyrie. Um, while we, of course, were distracting it. Okay, perfect. I think we should just leave it like that. And then afterwards, I would like to actually go with a Bomber. Not sure if the Bomber... I think I should have waited a little bit on the Bomber. Or is it... Okay, it's fine. I was thinking for one second that the Bomber was going to walk up too much. Where the Dagger Dashes was just going to instantly kill it. But in this case, it was right um, yeah, in the perfect tail, on the perfect spot. 
to be able to double, um, how do you say, like splash the tower. So a lot of damage dealt already. We did take a bit of damage with that first Hawk Rider push. As I said, we unfortunately didn't have the cannon. If he went with Hawk Rider plus Firecracker, we can just go cannon. Cannon destroys the Hawk Rider plus also activates the King Tower. But sometimes in this game, you do need a little bit of luck with your starting cycle. Um, okay, let's go with, I think, an ability here. Let's start cycling Fire Spirit in the back just to make sure we don't uh, yeah, leak too much Elixir. And then afterwards, I think I'm just going to delivery on top plus the Bomber again. Okay, perfect. Let's go with Bomber here. We do need to watch out because this is yeah, kind of scary. I think I'm going to cannon in the middle, actually. I didn't have the best cycle. Hopefully the Mega Knight... Nice. Okay, the Mega Knight at least didn't jump. Let's then go with Royal Hawks. Let's go with Evil Skeletons as well. And I'm going to Earthquake knowing that he has Tesla and Cycle. There you go. Let's go with the Earthquake for the Tesla. He might go with like a Valkyrie or maybe Mega Knight last second. We can have the Bomber ready. There you go. There's the Valkyrie. Always thinking about like potential um, yeah, plays your opponent is going to make. After seeing, for example, that he used the Tesla, in this case, the Royal Hawks were still quite healthy. We just knew that he might go with, um, yeah, the Valkyrie there, so that's why I went with Bomber. Okay, this delivery was kind of a prediction for a potential Firecracker. I was like, okay, he might Firecracker here. Looks like he didn't, so that was, yeah, not the best play, but I guess it's fine. Okay, let's go like this. Let's go with Fire Spirit. Let's then go with a Bomber, and I'm going to go with another delivery. Whenever you have the Archer Queen on the field, by the way, your cycle just gets way quicker. Not sure if you guys know it, but I said it before as well. Whenever he, for example, is the Little Prince, or in this case, whenever we have the, um, the Archer Queen on the field, we will not be able to cycle back to another Little Prince, to another Archer Queen with any champion. You cannot have two on the field. And that's exactly why sometimes people say it's important to cycle your Archer Queen. It's important to cycle your Little Prince to be able to get a quicker cycle. And then, for example, out cycle easier, a potential Bomb Tower, a potential Counter, or just in general, your spells or, yeah, basically anything. So very nice push guys, we were able to push up quite a bit, of course, as I said, we were not able to, yeah, use this account much yet, we're actually one win away from League 5, let's actually go for it, let's quickly go with this last deck, I think I played 3 matches with the Bomber deck, I think I did 2 matches with the Tesla deck, let's um, make it 3-3 three and three with, um, yeah, both the decks, and then hopefully here we can finish with another victory to be able to get to League 5, so from League 1 to League 5 in today's video, pretty nice push to be honest. Okay, let's go with Tesla here. Let's see what he's gonna be running. I guess a lot of Hawk Rider in these lower leagues. I don't know why, but so many Hawk Rider in today's video. Um, but I guess it's nice. Like sometimes Hawk Rider is not the easiest matchup for this deck. But I definitely think we're doing a good job so far at defending. And then this specific version with the Evo Tesla is definitely better than the Cannon one. Okay, let's go Loki on defense. And then afterwards prepare the Skeletons to be able to surround the Witch. And then I think that should be fine. We are gonna take a little bit of damage. But definitely, yeah, one of the best defenses we could have done. Okay, let's go Royal Hawks here. Let's wait a little bit to then afterwards Fire Spirit behind the Goblin Gang. And then this way the Fire Spirit is going to kill the Goblins. He does go with the main Horde, but we have Delivery. So unfortunately, the main Horde will be able to always get a lot of value on his side of the field. But then at the same time, I don't think he will be able to um, get, get value on our side of the field because we have Delivery. Okay, I'm going to go Skeletons here knowing that he doesn't have that much Elixir. And then I wasn't sure what his um, yeah, cycle was, what spell he has. In this case, he does go with Valkyrie, so well played by him. Okay, I think I can go with Royal Hawks here. Yeah, nice timing. Okay, perfect timing there. If you guys noticed that, I waited long enough to where the Valkyrie was close to the tower. Didn't hit the Royal Hawks, but then the Valkyrie is still all the way going backwards. While the Royal Hawks get some damage on the tower, Valkyrie now has little HP, so the tower can actually kill it without even having to spend, yeah, Fire Spirit or really anything. Okay, perfect. Let's go with Fire Spirit now on the right side, and then we can prepare the lock if he goes with his Goblin Gang. Okay, he doesn't, so let's go with Archer Queen. Also very important to not leak any Elixir. In this case, let's go with Archer Queen. We have the lock ready, and I think we can just um, yeah, wait a little bit, see what he does next. Sometimes also important to just let your opponent yeah, make the next move. Okay, let's go with Archer Queen here. Let's go with Ability as well. I'm going to go with some Skeletons here up high to distract the Witch and the P.E.K.K.A. Then I'm going to go with Delivery. If he goes with his mean Horde, it's no problem. We have the Evil Tesla. We have Fire Spirit and we have an insanely quick cycle, guys. Like, don't worry to, for example, sometimes use the delivery, knowing that you might have to keep it for another card with this deck, because this deck, as I said before, cycles insanely fast. As you guys can see, we're already back to delivery, and he didn't even use, for example, the um, yeah, mean Horde yet. Well, he maybe could have, because, yeah, before, okay, let's go with delivery now. And let's then also go with the Evo Tesla. Like, this defense is just so strong, as you guys can see, getting a lot of value. And I think we might even be able to, um, yeah, take the tower already. Let's go with Archer Queen now. Let's then go with Ability. Let's also go with some Royal Hawks towards the right side. That's definitely going to be towered down. And in the meantime, yeah, there's only 20 seconds left. I don't think he will be able to get anything done, to be honest. Okay, let's go delivery left side. Let's then go with some Skeletons as well. He does go with Fireball. 
But at this point, as I said, like it's over. We have such a quick cycle as well because the Arch Queen is on the field. I went with the um, yeah, lock prediction for a potential Goblin Gang. In this case, he does go with me and Horde. But anyways, there's no time left. So that is going to be another W in today's video. Sorry if you guys are not a big fan of lower leagues. I guess if you're not a big fan, you're not watching all the way until where I'm talking right now. But if you did watch all the way to, um, to where I'm talking right now still, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you guys yeah, could learn maybe something from a few tips I gave during these matches. And then also let me know if you guys would soon like to see another video playing on my secondary account, but then this way a little bit higher. I guess maybe from like League 9 towards League 10, something like that. Let me know in the comments section below any idea you have. I always love um, yeah, hearing your feedback and also reading new ideas. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to swing the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in one of my next videos. Take care, guys.